everybody, welcome to Hellbox Reviews. I'm still my lovely wife Tanya here again, and we're doing a review to the Super Mario movie. Uh, so, 10 years old, going to the cinemas. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh, I can't believe. Cinema? Like, yeah, ah. we, uh, me and a couple of friends from school, we went to see it, and we came out of it, and we were just so confused. Like, was that good or was that bad? Like. <laughs> We didn't know. We were just like kind of, it was based on the game that we like to play. And at this point, Super Mario World had come out. We had not played Mario Karts yet. Um, yeah. This is 1993, I think. And I'm just like kind of baffled at like, what the hell? And then, you know, you start to get a love for movies and you start to realize, wow, that was a really horrible adaptation and stuff. They could have done it better. And nearly like yeah 30 years later it's like finally nintendo was like yeah we're not gonna go on that route again we're gonna we're gonna develop our own script and and movie and put it out there and stuff i was pretty happy with this like we we ended up getting our um collector cups and stuff so that was really badass and stuff so i was going into this thinking like all right um, so this is spoiler free free for the first uh, few minutes. Um, I was worried, but at the same time, because we didn't watch too much of the trailers and watch the reactions yeah. and stuff, like we didn't do a reaction to it. So I um, legitimately was like, okay, I don't want to get like my heart broken and stuff. That being said, <laughs> I was like pumped. I was like, all right, let's let's As soon as that theme music started at the beginning, yeah. we were so excited. I just reverted back to that kid sitting in the cinema going, Oh my god, Super Mario movie and stuff. And just it was really, really weird, like just to think like, oh my god, like they've actually they're paying homage to all the Marios and stuff. Yeah. And then on top of that, they're just like kinda Oh yeah, don't worry fans, we got you. So I was super pumped about this, like, through it, just the whole time. And I know that there's a few reviews and stuff saying, like, they're poo-pooing it, saying, like, well, uh, this fictional, like, world and stuff, it, it, the, the plot falls apart, or yeah, the pacing is off a bit. So and like stuff. It, it's, it's like, shut yeah, up, like shut four up. four kids, man. The, it, yeah, it's it's not just, like, four kids, but I think for adults as yeah, well to go and see this and to be like, hey, I remember playing the game back in the day. They, they put that in there. That was pretty cool. There were so many moments where I was just like, that's really cute. Like, you know, that's nice. They didn't, like, drama this up with, okay, we've got to have a serious plot with mm. all of this and that. It's like, no, we're going on an adventure. We're going to have fun. So, like, all in all, I think the whole, like, the casting, the voice casting was great. So, like, you were naming off a few um, yeah. people and stuff. Chris Pratt, I think he does Mario, like, Justice and stuff. They had um, Charlie Day, which I was, like, kind of... They did so good. Yeah, the, the moments with both... Mario and Luigi, that's what I was there for. I wasn't for this side kind of, you know, oh, we've got to have the girls get it done moment. Here yeah. comes Princess Peach. And you're just like, all right, enough of this. We know what you're trying to pan to. We know the audience that you're trying to be yeah, like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna appeal it to them. And it's like, no, do it for the fans because the fans were flipping out. I remember so many times in the cinema, where you could just hear people going, oh my god, oh wow, that's cool and stuff. No one was just going, yeah, girl pal, when you saw Princess Peach fighting along like on her own and stuff, saying, like, this is how you get it done, Mario. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, whatever, whatever, like, move on. I'm, I'm more interested in the Luigi and Mario plot, and a lot of people might not have heard of this. When Sonic did really well, when that came out and everyone was, like, raving about it, yeah, I it, really enjoyed that. It started to... There was inklings about, oh, there's a... Nintendo is going to be developing their own Mario, Super Mario movie and stuff, and the script revolves around the princess is kidnapped by Bowser, and they flipped it and they made it that it's Luigi that's taken prisoner by Bowser, and it's like, yeah, we know why they did that, because a lynch mob is holding them hostage saying, we need more diversity and yeah, stuff and this mob. crap. Yeah, so we were just like, kind of, whatever. Like, you know, it's the weakest point of the movie where yeah. 
you're watching Princess Peach going around like, you know. The strong thing was at the end where the the brothers are together. The brothers bonding. That was such a sweet story of like why they're doing it. And I would have liked to have seen that journey of... You know, we've got to help this this world, like, you know, Luigi. And Luigi's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Should we? We shouldn't interfere and stuff. It's like, no, we've got to do it. Just to have those brotherly moments where they're bringing out the best in each other and stuff and they believe in each other, that was really cute. But just the cameos and stuff, like, I think as much of, you know, oh, I want to see this, I want to see that and stuff... I think everyone serves their purpose in it. Mm. Toad, Donkey Kong, freaking all the the different... Like, the, there's a cameo in there, um, you know, where you see it and you're like, hey, check that out. But um, we'll get into spoilers in a sec. Is there anything you can think of? Like, um, I just thought it was visually beautiful. Like, it was just yeah. stunning. Water uh, looked look amazing yeah. when they were in, floating in water. Yeah, because, like, like um, Stan is more of the Mario fan. Like, he played it growing up. I didn't. I played more Sonic. Um, so, I was along for the journey. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, fine. I played Sonic growing up, and I converted to Nintendo yeah. because I fell in love with Super Mario World. From there, I went to Mario 64. After that, like, I kind of fell off it because I was playing the Mario Karts, games and stuff but since then like you know there was heaps of like halo we saw how dismal that series Mm -hmm. is we've seen like you know just different horrible adaptations of games to film and you're just like why can't they just get the game developers the writers and stuff and the actual studio to develop the movie themselves and this seems like nintendo put their thumb on (laughs) hollywood to a point where they were just like, you're going to do it our way because what you did in 1993, that was horrible. And that set us back ever wanting to do business with, you know, filmmakers and stuff ever again. Yeah. So now it's like kind of, yeah, fine. They had Princess Peach along for the ride and stuff and doing a little bit more and stuff. Because for some reason, like, you know, that you can't have little girls playing as Mario in the video game and stuff. Like, they, they've got to play as Peach. They can't play as Mario. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I did stupid... like Peach. I thought Anna Taylor-Joy did a really good job of the voice acting as yeah. well. And every time I do play Mario Kart, I do choose Peach, so... <laughs> yeah, and, um, like, Key as uh, Toad was funny as hell. Yeah, that was really... he was cool. He, like, you know, when yeah. you want that comedy relief and stuff, he's really excellent and i loved him in toy story as well um the fourth one and stuff but anyway um <laughs> we'll get into spoilers now so there was that cameo with diddy kong i know how cute like i played like a little bit of donkey kong and diddy kong and i thought that was really cute i loved seeing him in there i think that was cool but when you see those um when they're going on the quests and stuff there's like a lot of like we're gonna get to this point get to this and stuff but you just want to stay in that world yeah. You want to explore more in that? And it's kind of like, play the game, kids. But um, that you seeing that whole herd of Yoshis so cool. running through and stuff. And one of them, I think they stop and wave yeah. at him and stuff. And you're just like, hey, there's a freaking Yoshi there. <laughs> and um, yeah, pretty much I can't think of anything else. Well, like Jack Black's Bowser was really good, I think. Thought he was really uh, what the they only, gave him. Yeah, yeah, the part that I just kind of fell out of, and this is probably because I don't know Mario so well, is like uh, that Bowser was pining for Peach. Yeah. So I was like, is that is that weird or is that in there? Is that in the game? I don't know. But I was like, why is he singing? <laughs> and like, the, but it's Jack Black, so I was like, okay. I get it. Like to have all these different little things where they have the um, zombie uh, Cooper Troopers. Yeah coming along and they're doing their thing and luigi's like they've got a little bit homage they pay to uh luigi's haunted mansion i think or mario's missing whatever it is when he's got the flashlight and he's running around in the dark and stuff there's a lot of stuff like that mario kart's rainbow bridge scene like you could have just done the whole movie based on them racing i was having so much fun watching that yeah we, but, we um, played some mario kart so it was fun yeah pretty much i had to introduce yes. um road kitty cat <laughs> tanya to um if you follow her twitch channel you'd be able to see her playing stuff but yeah just um i really enjoyed just like you said the visuals of mm, very oh man when uh peach sets up that obstacle course and mario's doing it and stuff 
and it shows her do it like it's nothing and I'm Flawless, just like yeah. whatever like why why are you doing that making him seem incompetent to to be able to do it because it's like we can't have you know Mario rescue the princess no she's going to rescue herself kind of yeah because I always thought like the attraction between Peach and Mario was like he was small like a little guy but he was exceptional mm. like he was just smart brilliant talented and brave and like just a little line in it where it's like, so the princess in another castle, and yeah, that was cute. if you go back, like because this is a franchise, this mm. is Mario has been around for nearly forty years, I think next year, and I've played not every single one, but I was there at the start. I was there to like to go through everything, um, you know, that kicked off the the seeds to what built it into this multi-billion dollar video game story character franchise and to see it get stalled and not get a movie mm -hmm. like because remember toy story came out in like 95 i think and i was like oh man if they just made mario uh movie like animation 3d animation this would be cool and then cut to all these years later, it's like really, really cool. And and for everyone like who does poo poo it and says like, you know, these are fictional characters that can't freaking you know live up to the the plot and the hype and stuff. The the whole idea of this was we're oh. watching we're watching these characters with these little like you know different things that pay homage to the video games that we fell in love with and they're throwing ter like Koopa Trooper shells at each and other and the stuff so and cool. all the little sounds all the music that they implemented into it I love the music as well yeah. by the way but yeah just why are you crapping on it when it's not supposed to be Batman Begins it's not supposed to be you know, Toy Story is not supposed to be all these like other yeah, it's like, same little pocket yeah and I hope this does kick off what's to come next because that after credit scene where it shows this thing <laughs> starting to crack and you hear the little Yoshi freaking yippee. yippee and I was just like kind of all right sweet like so we're going to pro probably get like a follow-up Yoshi's Island but then it's like kind of cool. hopefully this does make a billion dollars which I wouldn't be surprised if it does but if it gets up there and makes some serious money we could put like potentially see a Zelda, a, a oh, Link, Legends cool. of Zelda like movie Nintendo might start up next yeah. or they might turn around and say, all right, we're going to do a follow up. We're going to do Yoshi's Island, Super Mario 2. Yeah, yep, yep. But oh yeah, by the way, we're going to do a Star Fox, Lilac Wars freaking movie and stuff. And then it's like kind of like, cause you have the princess, she turns around, Peach says, there's a whole universe out there of things. Yeah. I don't know where I came from and stuff. And they're looking up at the stars and I'm just like, oh yeah, you could do like Lilac Wars out there and stuff. And <laughs> you could potentially have a Metroid Prime freaking or a Perfect Dark Zero freaking um, movie. Like it'd be really cool to see this sort of, not so much be an MCU, but just be the starting point of what Nintendo can potentially do that doesn't have to serve the, you know, the whole Hollywood idea of well this is how we do things it's like no that's what the mcu started out as we're going to do things our way now because hollywood has screwed it up with all these other comic movies you don't believe me look at Tobey Maguire's spider-man 3 take a look at freaking what they did with um fantastic 4 2 rise of silver surfer look at like you know at that point marvel said we've had enough we've had enough of dealing with these film studios, studios who are yeah. like we don't know what we're doing but we're just going to push it out there, serve it like slop into your trough and all the fanboys and, and pigs will come and just eat it now. Eat your slop. And it's like, nah, we're, we're fed up with that. We want our own, like, you know, yeah. stories There's and our characters. There's a reason why we've got comic books. Yeah, and they weren't successful, whether it's the video games, the comic books and stuff, they weren't successful without the fan base. So this doesn't insult the fan base this does really pay homage yeah, to everyone I agree. 40 years nearly 40 years of super mario this does a great job of fan service and i'm like you know freaking 5 out of 5 like 5 stars like i think nice. it was really fun it was just a yeah, fun I had thing a lot of fun. yeah and even if you're like an adult 
even though it's a kids movie if you're an adult and you've played mario you'll have fun watching mm. this as well but can you think of anything else that we can um, probably add to we've it? missed a few things but let us know in the comments below what you thought of this movie check us out on facebook twitter instagram and twitch and thanks, thanks for watching, watching guys bye, bye.